The first season of Beast Wars cost $18 million, according to a 1997 interview with Bob Forward. Although the Beast Wars franchise was widely criticized and detested by many of the more hardcore fans of the original series, it did do something that would set a precedent for all subsequent cartoon series, as well as the live-actions movies. Because the purpose of the original series had been largely to advertise the toy line, the producers of the show flooded the cartoon with as many characters as possible, even introducing new ones without explanation in season 2. This had the unfortunate side effect of making any character development severely limited. Beast Wars on the other hand, limited the number or characters to five on each side, and introduced new characters slowly, allowing for a great deal more character development. According to B-Club magazine, Beast Wars is the first fully CGI TV show in the world. Too bad they don't know Reboot as much earlier. In Canada, Beast Wars was called Beasties, as the Canadian broadcaster YTV considered the original title to be too violent. They did a similar move when Mainframe released War Planets, renaming the series Shadow Raiders. In France and, French, Belgium, the show was called, Animutants, and had a good quality dubbing, rather close to the original voices. But while the first two seasons of the show were aired, the third one never was. The show always ended with, The Agenda, Part 3, leaving the fans of the area with the worst case of cliffhanger ever. In Spain, the show suffered the same destiny it had in France, finishing at the end of the second season. In Vietnam, the show was called Chien Tran Ki Vat Vu Tru, aka Galaxy Monster Wars instead of Beast Wars. The show was released in VHS tapes with very good Vietnamese dub then it was copied to VCD. Unfortunately, the show aired only the first two seasons like it was in French. It's ended with The Agenda, Part 3 and left the fans with a cliffhanger. The production designer for the show, Clyde Klotz, won an Emmy for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Animation in 1997. How cool is that? By the end of the series, a minimum of 10 confirmed stasis pods land on the planet.